Good morning, everybody. It is freezing outside. I think it's like, got to be minus 20 at least with the wind chill. It's it really cold outside, but uh, we're going to go for a ride anyway because we're stupid. So come along with us on this freezing cold journey from the warmth of your couch. Dad's just here breaking Brian's balls. Yeah. We're in the forest here, and it's really pretty. It is pretty. Very. But it's also freezing outside. We were just in that uh, the field up there coming up this big open hill, and I thought my hands were going to fall off. It was cold. It was freezing. Yeah. It's not, that's not enjoyable. No, not that's not all. enjoyable at all. Not at all. It's not. Dan wasn't complaining, though. Arctic tundra. Right yeah. Here. The Arctic tundra cowboy right here. Look at that get up. Yeah, six inches of clothes. Two inches of you know what. We're not surviving in the wilderness, boys. Yeah, we are. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> you look funny right now, dude. Move your Don't touch it. This is not good. <laughs> this is what happens with Dilly. We left him alone for two minutes. Yeah. And he went full this... <laughs> <laughs> I owe Brian a photo pack. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Last of all, can't take him anywhere. <laughs> that whole fort is on fire. Fuck it. <laughs> well, guys, we managed to put the fire out. Luckily. And you know what? Lesson learned. Do not dump fuel onto an open fire from a jerry can, because this can happen. And you know what, just when we thought this day couldn't get any worse, Brian had set up at the top of this hill to film Dan and I climbing it. Unfortunately, Dan ended up rolling his machine, it landed on him, and really messed up his leg. It ripped his leg entirely open. There was muscles and, and bones hanging out of his leg, uh, which we're not gonna show on camera. But uh, luckily he's okay. We met, uh, we rigged up a tourniquet for him and got him out of the bush as fast as possible and met EMS at the, the trailhead and they took him off to get stitched up. So he is okay. We got his bike out of the woods, but uh, this is a little bit of an eye opener to uh, always have a plan. When, you, when you're out here riding, man, things can go south so fast. And, and luckily we were, we were not in the middle of nowhere and we both have some medical training and we're able to rig up a tourniquet for him. But let this be a lesson to everybody. You know, when you're out on the trail, make sure you have a first aid kit and make sure you know how to use it. Always know where you are. And ideally, try to always have a ride in a place where you have cell phone reception. Because you know what, guys? This could have gone so much worse, and we're so thankful it didn't. Dan, I gotta say, I've seen you look better. There should be a yellow blanket somewhere. Yeah. Well, guys. This is all the importance of how things can go wrong, man, on the trail. It doesn't matter how careful you are. 